Welcome to another video for WinBid Pro by GDS, and this one covers the version 15.6 update, and specifically the shop drawing uh, window itself and a feature inside that I didn't have a chance to talk to talk about in the last video. So the last video I kind of summarized all the different things going on with the new update. So a lot of it was drawing settings and also the shop drawings window. But when we get into the shop drawings window, there's a section that I didn't have a chance to talk about, and that's this title block section. So title block is similar to, is more of the technically accurate term for what we were calling borders. So we still have the cover border option here in the main menu. And we'll be phasing that out, um, at least the border part out, and, and focusing on title block because that's, uh, like I say, the more industry standard term. Um, but for the time being, until that's completely merged and and we focus on this, uh, there are some things in that border page that we can utilize. So first, let's take a look at what uh, the title block thing does for you. So if I generate pages without that box checked, I've got two elevations in this job and some details. So you'll notice I've just got an elevation on the first page here. So um, And then I can go to my second elevation if I wanted. So these, uh, again, the first video talked about this, all the settings for scale and paper size and margins and all that. So, um, But since we're talking about title block, this is what it looks like without a title block. Now let's see what it looks like with one. Um, I check the box. It makes me generate the pages again. So now I have a nice uh, kind of border title block with some, some text already in there. So this is why I mentioned the border cover menu option over here. A lot of these things are already populated, right? You've already got information there. Job, that's your company name. This is my um, estimator name. Although I'm uh, jumping ahead a little. So let's close this and see why some of that stuff's already filled out. So we go to cover border. And when this opens up, um, it it allows me to type a bunch of things in that can appear on the cover page and on the border that we create. Now, if you remember, the borders that we created here are 11 by 17 and 24 by 36. So, and depending on which one you select would enable uh, either all the fields or only some of them. So if we want to be able to type something in all these fields and go ahead and put it on 24 by 36. Um, so the project name is the job name that you've already given in our software. The glazing contractor is your company that you can configure over here in the My Shop uh, option. And this is me as the estimator drawn by. And then uh, the date, of course. And then all, now the, the project number is something I entered in. That's something you, you don't enter yet in uh, for when you're creating a job or elevations in our software. So. That's something that was entered in here. I can change that to whatever. Um, so if I put in a new code there for the project number, and then my general contractor, contractor, the architect, all that stuff's filled out, right? So I can close this now. And then I can go back to the shop drawings. And I should see not only the new job number I gave it, but um, but also uh, all the other information that was there. So you'll notice that drawn by is not my name here, and there's a reason for that. We have control. Not only do, do we look for the information in the cover border window, we also give you the ability to override that and put whatever you want in these uh, in these places. And the way we do that is... Um, we go to edit job attributes and they're actually title block attributes but they're for the job so you'll notice I already have an attribute called estimator in here for the name John Smith so that's why John Smith is showing up here instead of me so I can overwrite that um, and this is a good time to mention this little help button right here this question mark if I click that I'm gonna get a, a web page that comes up that goes into detail on the title blocks and it talks about the margins the padding it talks about uh, being able to use other files 
um, you know, the format to save them in if you have your own title blocks, things like that. So the key here is the attributes. This is what I wanted to mention. So these are all the attributes on that title block. And you can change all these things um, by typing these words in. So if I wanted to change the contractor name, I can type in contractor as an attribute. So let's do that. So I can say contractor, and it can be either upper upper case or lower case. So my contractor is now Bill Rawlings. So I'm going to save that. And it's going to make me generate the pages again because that changed on the page. So now if, when I zoom in here to my general contractor, I see Bill Rawlings. So basically we've given you the ability to control these attributes with this little window here and overwrite not only what you've created here, but with whatever else you want to put in there. So you can, uh, now we've used kind of, we've used general attribute names. So these names should be common to most title blocks. But um, if they're not, if there's a title block that has its own attribute name, then you can type that name in to, to attributes. You know, if it's something like um, shop something, I don't know, whatever the attribute is in that CAD drawing, uh, you can type that attribute name and the value it, it needs to take and it will, you know, display it on the, uh, on the page when we generate the pages. So hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> but if you know enough about CAD and how these title blocks are configured and, and created, then you know that the attributes can be, uh, can, can be named. So we've kind of given you the ability to type in whatever named attribute and whatever value it needs, and that will show up on your title block. So that, in a nutshell, is title blocks. And we talked about the um, we talked about generating and exporting files and things before. But once you have all this, you know, created, I can export to say a PDF and it's going to ask me what folder I want to save it to. So the uh, default folder is this, the vendor that you're in and then the job name for the job you're working on. If you wanted it to go somewhere else like uh, OneDrive or Dropbox or Google Drive, anything like that, or even a, a network drive or wherever, you can select that location and say select folder. And now it's going to save your export stuff to that location. So, so here's my... Um, PDF of that elevation with the title block. So it's um, it's pretty cool. We tried to kind of centralize everything with this new shop drawing feature and with this title block uh, functionality and the ability to add your own attributes and type in attribute values and things like that. Um, you have a lot more control over your shop drawings now. So that should do it. Thanks.